What is going on guys? I am Consumer Tech Review and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Abkin Core K660 full-size mechanical keyboard, the almost perfect $40 keyboard. I'm going to flash back to a week or so when I got this, do the unboxing, and then we're going to flash back to today and I'm going to give you my full review and tell you why it's almost perfect almost perfect. And if at any point in the video, you guys want to check out this exact same keyboard, I'll have Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. But take it away, past consumer tech review. All right, guys, unboxing the K660. I've been so excited to unbox this. So on the front of it, we got just some branding and what it is on the back. Then we have a picture of the keyboard, the 660 Arc, Outemu blue switches, which is sweet, USB cable, and it looks like it's detachable, and obviously 104 keys because it is a full size. It has the rainbow RGBs, obviously but it also has side RGB, super excited about that. Then it has some acrylic glass-like RGB. I think there's RGBs in there too. Spill resistant, always sweet to have. Cherry stabilizers, dual injected keycaps, and a USB cable. I'm hoping that that's USB-C, but let's crack this baby open. Opening the K6, oh, I just ripped it. I, opening the K660. Okay, oh, it is heavy. Yeah, first impression, really heavy. Oh, is it a detached cable? Please tell me it's a detachable cable. I don't know if it is, guys. I kind of think it's not. Okay. Overall impressions, I love the acrylic glass right there. Let's just check to see if there's anything else in the box. And there is, we got a keycap holder. Always nice to have that, a little brush cleaner, very sweet and an FN functions thing with the RGB functions. That is pretty sweet. That was one of my complaints with some other brands that had RGB controls on the keyboard. Okay, so overall, this is a little bit different on the keyboards that I've been doing reviews on lately. It's really heavy, which is a really good sign. This is thicker. So instead of having the keycaps sit on top of them, they're inlet a little bit in here. And they're not perfectly smooth. They're a little bit more grippy, which is great for gaming. But overall, they look really good. The only thing that concerns me right out of the box is this might not just the white parts that are printed on there, those might not hold it as well. And obviously the RGB, I don't think is gonna shine through to those. So that might be an issue. And unfortunately it is not a removable cable, but this acrylic glass right here looks awesome. And then that's where the RGBs are gonna be on both sides, not a 360, but on both sides, which I might prefer it like that. Got smooth pads on the bottom, two of them. And this is actually a full rubber pad. Now, normally I would like a pattern in the rubber, but there is a lot up here, so I don't think it will be an issue. Um, that's pretty satisfying. All right, now we're gonna do the sound test. Yeah, overall, it feels pretty good. I obviously have quite a bit of experience with the Atemu switches, but these do feel really good. And the plate does feel really solid. Some switches, sometimes it won't feel as solid because it's kind of a cheap plastic plate, but this obviously is plastic right here. However, it's so heavy, I know that it's setting on a metal deck, but we're actually going to plug this in so you guys can see the RGBs. I will turn the huge light off over there. This is a nice braided cable, although unfortunately it is not detachable, which you guys know, I really just love detachable cables. It creates longevity. The RGB on the side actually looks really, really good. It is quite bright on the edges, wow. It's very cool because it kind of gives that glow on the edges, I really enjoy that. Although this isn't doing the RGB mode, which we obviously wanna see. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to figure out the customization. I don't really like this colorway right now, but obviously it can be changed and I'm, I'm sure it's perky lighting. That will be in the full review. This is just the overall unboxing. Overall, I'm really impressed with this and I can't wait to use it for the next two weeks. But now we're gonna fast forward and give you my review two weeks in the future, coming up right now. And we are back. Now let's jump right into the first pro. That has to be the build quality overall really impressed especially for 40 bucks now when i got this keyboard i said hmm probably 65 or 70 dollars and then i looked up the price 40 bucks wow that surprised me the build quality is excellent the deck is plastic however there is definitely metal on this thing because it weighs a lot 2.7 pounds to be exact so on top of it the keys are actually sitting in the keyboard not like something like my hyperx how it's sitting on top how the deck is just thin and it's sitting on top these actually sit in it 
that's just personal preference, doesn't really make a difference. But on the left and right side, they have RGBs, which are actually super bright, and those kind of shine down onto the desk, and I really like those. They're incredibly bright, so they did a really good job with that part. And as well, they have this really cool acrylic glass for the logo on the top right, and that actually glows through with the RGB, and that will match the side RGBs. So whatever setting you have the side RGBs to, that's what the acrylic glass is gonna be, and that is really awesome, I love that. Moving on to the next pro, which is the switches. Now do remember, this is a $40 full-size mechanical keyboard. This comes with Altemu blue switches, which I think was a perfect choice for the price point and it being a full size. I mean, you have to remember, this is a full size. It's obviously metal in parts of it. Uh, it's strong and they put Altemu blues and it's $40. So I'm just trying to wrap my head around how they did this. But the blue switches feel really great, especially for the price point. I love Altemu blue switches. I've used other keyboards that have switches made by their own companies because that's what happens with budget keyboards. They try to find different ways, um, but they didn't cut corners here. They use Altemu blues. Obviously, you're not going to find a Cherry MX blue uh, keyboard for like less than $100. It's just not going to happen. Most of the time, there's like $150, $160. Bucks. This is $40 and it's got Otamu Blues on it, I think that was the best choice. This is gonna be 50 grams of pressure to press it in, and I think it's like two millimeters for actuation, 2.4 millimeters. Now moving on to the next pro. This is 100% anti-ghost, and you guys might be like, anti-ghosting, like every gaming keyboard has that, but that's not true in the budget field. A lot of these keyboards that are kind of in the more budget area don't necessarily have 100% anti-ghosting. It's actually quite common for some to only have like 27 keys or something anti-ghosting, but this, 100% anti-ghosting with a 1000 hertz pulling rate. And the next thing that this gives you is IP42 water resistance. So if you spill something on it, it's gonna be resistant to that, which is just awesome to see because there's plenty of keyboards that don't have that that are much more expensive than that. So it's just awesome that they included that. And the last pro, you get 18 month warranty. Now, with all those pros, it's a lot for $40, but this keyboard's almost perfect. It could be the best keyboard, the best budget keyboard in the world. It literally could be if it did a few things. You have to remember, it packed all that stuff into $40. However, there's a couple of key points with why it's not the perfect keyboard. And the first one starts with the RGB. When I got this thing, I was extremely amazed at the build quality and everything about it. And I was like, wow, yeah, 60, 65 bucks, this looks pretty good. Then I realized it's $40 and I realized a big place where they cut a corner for cost, obviously. However, it's a big one. The RGBs on top are not per key lighting. Now they will light up individually for each key. However, each row is a singular color that can never be changed. So the bottom row is white, and I think one of them is orange and blue going vertically, and those can never be changed. You cannot change them to a different color. You cannot do one solid color for the entire keyboard. Now, however, the acrylic glass and the two sides, you can. You can customize those to any color you want, have a rainbow effect, and they're very bright. And if they just took that away, if they just took away the acrylic glass, which is cool, but if they took that away and they took away the edge lighting and they just made it any color you want for the top, that alone, probably would have made this the best $40 mechanical keyboard, full-size mechanical keyboard out there on a budget for 40 bucks. Now the next one is the detachable cable. This does not have a detachable USB cable. It's just locked in there, but something like the Red Dragon uh, K552, which is kind of a competitor, but again, it's a little bit more expensive than this and it is not a full-size keyboard. So that's definitely not a deal breaker, but a huge deal breaker that could be a deal breaker for a lot of you is the RGBs. And the last con, and this might be a big one for you, might not be a big one. However, it's not hot swappable. Now, the reason this isn't like a huge deal is because this is just a $40, you get a ton of stuff. It's 40 bucks, you get a ton of stuff. Now, if this thing was like 60 bucks, that would be a huge con. However, since it is a very entry-level keyboard, or not necessarily entry-level, but very budget friendly keyboard, that's not a huge deal. Now, I know some of you may not like that, but just don't choose to buy this one. Now, I highly recommend this keyboard if you don't care about the RGBs, because that's really the only huge con with this. If you want a very nice full size keyboard and you don't really care a whole lot about the top RGBs matching with the rest of your setup, 
or if you actually like the colorway that they have, this could be a fantastic buy. But for someone like me that really loves customizing the RGB with my setup, this was a huge con for me. However, Abconcord, if you change this, if you make this just per key lighting, maybe you increase the price by $5, this could be the best budget full-size keyboard ever made and I mean that. And if you made it hot swappable and a detachable USB, you would have no competition. This would be the end all be all of budget keyboards. So guys, if you do feel like this keyboard is right for you, I will have Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, help me out, throw a like below. And if you wanna check out my last video, it was about the top five upgrades you can make to your desk setup to upgrade it. And if you like this video, consider subscribing. We're trying to get to 10K before Christmas, baby. This was Consumer Tech Review, and I'll see you guys later.